Hi guys, 14 Prime here, back with the last of the top 10 videos for 2020, that being the top 10 customs that I have done in 2020. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, the rules for this one is pretty much just similar to the other ones. Each of these customs were done this year, like, um, I believe, I actually rephrase that, like, they had to be finished this year, because I think one of them I technically started very late 2019, I just finished early 2020, because, like, I, I was waiting for a part to come in, but, anyways, pretty much, they gotta be finished this year, and, uh, that's it, it's the, it's the only requirement, <laughs> which, uh, this can entail most things, like, I try to make sure that it isn't something that's like, oh, I just painted, like, one little thing, and bam, like, I usually don't count that to be on the list, usually, like, for example, Studio Series stuff can be on the list, but it's only when it's, like, I do a ton of detailing work to it and whatnot, so, yeah. Speaking of Studio Series, I do like to fit at least one on the list each year, so number 10, Studio Series Sentinel Prime, which I believe I've reviewed. I think there's like one on this list I have not reviewed, because <laughs> I haven't got around to it yet. Things had to be sacrificed for videos around now, which this is a custom I definitely did a lot to, like all the silver and gold there. The fact that I painted the other side of the, the leg red, did a lot of like little dry brush detailing on them, and just... I, I, uh, I still need that upgrade kit, because as you can see, I'm still stuck with uh Poo Poo Sword. <laughs> sword that sucks. But yeah, I think this is probably like my my best Studio Series detailing of the year. An honorable mention, which I did want to fit him on the list, but I just couldn't fit him on the list. Honorable mention had to get, has to go to the Studio Series Range of the Fallen Soundwave, since I think my paint job really does help the figure look a lot better. But... He he's not on the list. He's just he's just honorable mention because I uh, I do actually like how I, what I did with him. I, I think it looks nice. It's not it's not a ton, but I think it works. So yeah. Anyways, number ten Studio Series Sensitive Prime. <coughs> Seriously. And number nine. And number nine Cybertron Defense Red Alerts. Now this is the one that I've uh, believe I started late 2019 and then finished early 2020. Or at least I'm I'm basing it on the fact that I uh, I posted about it like very early January, so I'm assuming <laughs> I'm assuming. But so this is a custom I actually had a lot of fun with. Of course, the uh, the Siege Iron High and Mold is a staple of this channel at this point. <laughs> I've reviewed it so many times, and I've still got one more to go. <laughs> Whenever Shadow Glass Ratchet happens, like it just it's never ending. But um, but this figure actually, I just I just really enjoyed some of the fun parts of it, like the fact of the the weapon here that I made from like leftover parts from Siege Impactor and what became Scattershot, the rock the rocket here made from a friend, the head from another lad, um, and then the ingenious of use of continuing to use this piece instead of having this just peg into there. Like, I, it was just, it's just a fun custom to do, and I really, I really enjoyed doing the Unicron Trilogy stuff. I know for those fans that watch video, that watch my stuff just for the Unicron Trilogy customs, I'm sorry I haven't done too many lately. I know, I know it's been pretty poured hard with Shattered Glass, but it's like, <laughs> that's my jam. <laughs> I will hopefully be doing more of these in 2021. I hope to finally kickstart some, uh, some fun Beast Wars stuff going on in 2021. With Kingdom coming out, I might do some, like, pre-Earth, some more pre-Earth um, stuff, and who knows? Who knows what I'll do? I'll, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll know a year from now, because I'll have done it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Anyways, number nine on the list. Siege, Cybertron, Defense, Red Alerts. Moving on to number eight, another Unicron Trilogy. The Earthrise, um, the Signal Flare. With dust on his shoulders, poor lad. It's been sitting on the shelf. Which, um, I just love the Earthrise Ironworks mold, if you haven't told. It's been in two lists now. And, um, <laughs> I thought this was just a really fun repaint that I got the idea from from a Digibash, of all things. Which, that, that happens to me way more often than it should. And the fact that I got to incorporate, like, the uh, the original, like, Signal Flare parts. Even though I don't even own Signal Flare. I just found them on eBay and bought them. But I think this works just really well. I, I like how it has, like, a distinct look between, um regular ironworks and then grease pit like they all they all just feel very unique and distinct like he has these extra parts grease pit grease pit has his extra parts and like a whole different slight configuration with the weapons and then there's also the um the space one coming out which i am buying because i uh i love the mold and i love space so i mean 
<laughs> got some wins going on here. But it's just a just a uh, fun Unicron trilogy custom, like a partial custom, which I realize most of them have been. <laughs> I think most of them have been, anyways. But yeah, fun mold. Rec uh, recommend the mold, but uh, fun custom. I enjoyed it. I had a really good time doing it. So yeah, number eight, uh, Earthrise Signal Fire. And then number seven, I think this is actually the one that I haven't reviewed. <laughs> Unless I, like, did recently, I just forgot about it. I don't know. I know there's at least one that I haven't reviewed, but, um... Anyways, Shadow Glass Impactor. Which, in case I haven't reviewed it, because for some reason I legitimately cannot remember, this is based on, like, the G2 Combat Hero Megatron with, like, the whole freaking like, camouflage stuff going on, the neon blue treads, and even even this little bit that I got an idea from from a friend of mine, just, like, splatter paint the hook. Some pink, so it kind of looks like blood. But, yeah, there is no, like, shatter glass impactor, so this is one of them that I had to just make up the colors for, and I love the, and I love the idea so much that someone thought about a Discord server that I was like, yes. I, mean, I, li I literally started it right then. Like, I was about to start a different one, and then I just stopped and started this one. But, uh, but yeah. It's a, it's a fun mold. I, I own I own more of it than I expected to, because whenever I saw a Siege Impactor, I really didn't expect to buy them, and I own three now. Because I also have the, the IDW head ones. I found it for cheap. But, uh, but yeah. Number... Oh, I've already lost count. <laughs> Number seven, I believe, uh, Shatter Glass Impactor. And number six, being another Shatter Glass for Sideswipe. Now, this is one that I actually wasn't really expecting to ever do. Because I kind of have a rule with customs to where, like, if it's one that's been really overdone, overused, I just don't bother. And, like, this is one that everyone already did. So I was like, what's the point? And so, um, however, with the Netflix one that came out, I decided to go ahead and try it then, and I'm really glad I did, because I really enjoy this. I also do enjoy the Armada Wheeljack I made out of it, he just didn't make the list, unfortunately. Which, actually, since doing this custom, I, um, I painted on some taillights, because he, he really needed them. Here we go. Paint on some taillights. So that's fun. But yeah, I remember this is this was one of the uh, this is one of the really famous showstopper customs for this year for me because like everyone was like oh my god that looks amazing and then I remember someone was like I would literally pay you to make that for me so um, <laughs> so yeah this this was really the one that I remember everyone really liked I really enjoy it I still enjoy it and uh, we'll be probably be seeing it again in January as for a certain comparison and a review so uh, yeah number. I'm going to keep losing count. Number six on the list, Shattered Glass Sideswipe. And moving on to number five, we have the only other thing that isn't the Shattered Glass or um, Unicron shows you on this list is uh, the Siege Sunstorm. Now this custom was just, it, it was fun doing Seekers. Like, <laughs> I, I still did one more. I don't, I don't know if, have I reviewed it? Did I ever review it that I just... I don't know. <laughs> I've actually done one since these. I did, um... I did Ghost. It was that one... Like, that black and gold seeker. I did him, which... If I haven't reviewed it, I'll probably review it eventually. I don't know. I might wait till I do a second seeker and do them both. Because, you know, it's the seeker mode. Come on. Everyone knows. But just... This custom, I think, turned out just amazing. I love how it just looks so burnt and scorched over the whole thing. I think the only thing that looks weird to me are the wings. Like, I kind of wish I could have got that fade going a bit better. But, oh well. I still think this looks pretty fantastic. Even with little bits of paint chipping here and there, unfortunately. I just think it really works. I remember people would uh, would ask me about, like, um, the fact that they were like, Oh, you did that out of the Thundercracker. It's like, no, I did that out of Starscream. I just swapped the heads. <laughs> Because I did Thundercracker with the for Bitstream, but yeah, I do I do really like how this custom turned out. I like um I love the Seed Seeker mold, so of course this is something that I would really enjoy. Which there's a rumor we're supposed to be getting one more use out of it. Really hope it happens. Who knows? Might might uh be something cool. I'll probably buy it regardless. <laughs> but yeah, number number five on the list being Seed Sunstorm. Would it be would it be Siege Netflix Sunstorm since it's done up like the Netflix Seeker? Would it count like that? 
That is, that's the real question here. <laughs> Opinions down in the comments, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, number four on the list being Shatter Glass Ironhide. And now, this is a figure that, before painting, I really don't like. Like, I did. <laughs> I, I did not expect this figure to end up being one of my favorite customs of the whole year, considering I just, I just really don't like it. Like, <laughs> I don't really like the, what they did with, like, the Ironhide himself. Like, I think my paint job on him makes it look a lot better, or at least for me, it, it helps it look a lot better. Not just because it's shattered glass, but because it fixes some of the issues. Like, of course, the, the windows are painted instead of having to be unpainted for stupid G1 accuracy, because they didn't have painted windows on their legs. And uh, the fact that all the black, like, matches in the alt mode for the most part, like, these don't. But, I mean, that's one thing instead of, like, four shades of red. And also, um, after the review, I actually, I think two weeks ago, I got uh, I got new tires. They don't really roll too well. They're, they're actually kind of stiff. Which I'm assuming is because of paints. I don't know. But uh, they at least do help the look. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything about the feet. If, it, if like, I'm, I can deal with the feet. It was just the the wheels I really wanted to do, really wanted to do something about. But yeah, custom itself. Uh, I think I really helped fix a lot of the issues that I, that like paint wise that the figure had, and also the fact that I had an extra siege crosshairs hammer just lying around. I think really works for this guy. But uh, yeah, I am excited for the shattered glass ratchet. Previously mentioned that earlier, which I'm hoping comes in in January. Fingers crossed. Real excited for it. Which, of course, we'll be doing a review. Who knows? Maybe even a review and a custom review. Might might double dip. Who knows? But, yeah. Anyways, number four, Shatter Glass Ironhide. And now we are down to the final three lads, with uh, number three being the Transformers Cyberverse Energon Shock Blasts, which I need to angle up the camera because he's tall. Now, this custom just... Why didn't Hasbro do this? Why didn't they release a version of this, of like the Cyberverse Shockwave that looked like this? I feel like it would have sold really well. Like, like I would have bought this for sure, for one thing. Like, I know other people probably would have, because this is another one I think people really liked. Because it's like the body type just works. Like, he, he's got the he's got the gigantic can on one arm. He has the... Just like the, the chest has like that weird design going on that I think r really lends well to it. Like this just this just works, man. It hits. Like I'm I'm amazed that they didn't do this. Which he is a bit dusty just because he has been on the shelf. Poor lad. But um, like I obviously could have done more detail. I could have painted in all the little bits here and there, but I just I just didn't want to. <laughs> But um, I do think this turned out fantastic looking. Like, I already loved this mold. This was, like, one of my favorite. Like, before the deluxes were out, this was, like, my favorite uh, Cyberverse toy. Because it's just such a fun figure. Like, it's very articulated. The only real, like, limitation it has isn't even that big of a deal to me since, again, if it's, if it's like, an Energon Shock Blast deal, that that's just how he is. Like, <laughs> he ain't going to have an elbow. <laughs> the fact that this thing has a swivel already one-ups him. But yeah, just I think it's a fun figure in general. Like if you can find one, get one, and maybe even try doing the custom yourself. It's it's it looks good. It would it would be really nice for Unicron Trilogy fans if Hasbro actually did this, but unfortunately they did not. So I did. <laughs> so yeah, number three, Cyberverse Energon Shock Blast. And now for number two on the list, being the Siege Shatter Glass. Megatron. I realized this year, like, I did a lot of Siege, like, Shattered Glass customs. Like, due to a mix of Netflix and the fact that a ton of frickin' Siege figures ended up at at, uh, at Ross, and I just bought a bunch of them. Like, I've just, I've just been doing a bunch of them, but this is one that I was not so lucky with. <laughs> I think I paid probably, like, it just for the body alone was about 80 bucks, because I had to mix two Megatrons for this, but the end result with a bit of paint work I did here and there on it, is amazing like I I do really like how this looks of course it isn't a jet like it should be unfortunately but I think for a shattered glass Megatron this is probably like in terms of what we have so far for Hasbro because if it was Dakar a Super Megatron shattered glass repaint for the love of God please <laughs> 
I, I'd do it myself if he wasn't so expensive. But then again, this is more expensive, so like, can I even use that defense? Is that even a defense I am valid for? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like there's just simple, there, like I only really did simple details on it, like I did the red and the legs and some black, some black feet. Like it isn't like I went all out and did like a ton of work to it, but it's like, I think, uh, I think it turned out pretty good for what he is going for. I think it totally works for Shattered Glass Megatron. It was just so nice to have a Voyager scaled one this year, too. Since my only real things I've had to work with are, you know, Masterpiece size, because I have the Combiner Wars Megatron, which I still love that custom. But I do really enjoy having, like, a smaller scaled lad for it, too. Which scales with the other guys pretty well. Like, I actually worked on downsizing Shattered Glass scale a little bit, which I think turned out pretty alright this year. But yeah. Anyways... Number two being Shatter Glass Siege Megatron. And now we are down to the number one boy, the lad, the man that has been on that has been on literally all three lists in some way, shape, or form. Shatter Glass Soundwave. Which um <laughs> what's funny is I actually didn't realize it until I was filming the second one that I included this character on three lists. I like all three of them have Shatter Glass Soundwave somewhere. The third party one had the Legends one. The, uh, like, retail bot stuff has the official Shattered Glass toy. And then the customs has this as the number one slot. Which, funnily enough, this actually was going to be Shattered Glass Ratchet. And when it, whenever the Siege Ratchet, and no, Siege Earthrise Ratchet was coming out, I was actually going to buy him to do Soundwave. But unfortunately, um, the sticker set I bought was pretty screwed up. And since this is a really expensive, since first aid is a really expensive figure to buy, I um I ended up just turning it into Soundwave, and then we I got sh I got my Shattered Glass Ratchet anyway, so it all worked out. It all worked out in the end, and it's really funny to me how that how all those events came to be. But in terms of this custom, again, it's more so like a partial custom than anything. But I think it turned out pretty well. The only thing I kind of don't like is the black on the sides. Like I wish it was more clean, cause it's just like it looks a bit weird to me. But I do overall still really enjoy the way this looks. Like this. This just looks nice. This makes me wish um, the Collector's Club did this for Soundwave. Or like even had the the custom class figure be Soundwave instead of Ratchet a little bit. But um, yeah, I just, this just looks so nice to me. Like I, uh, definitely my, uh, my proud, one of my proudest works of 2020. Or my favorite, my favorite custom, but probably not my proudest work that I've done this year. I don't even know what that would be, technically. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely going to be up there, you know. Because I think this just works. Like, it's just, uh, it, it has that nice sleek design that you'd think Shattered Glass Soundwave would have. The only thing I wish he had was, like, a classics inspired weapon. Because, like, he has no weapon. Like, he just holds Laser Beak. That's all he does. He just, he literally just holds Laser Beak in his hand, like, by the peg. That, 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 that's what he has to mess with. But, um, like, I kind of wish I had, like, the classics inspired weapon that can go on the arm, maybe, like, with a blade end. Because I think that would look really cool. I just haven't figured out a way to do that or even how to be like, hey, how can someone design this for me? <laughs> I don't even know how I'd want it. I just I just know I do. But yeah, even without a weapon, this this custom just it, it slaps, man. I, I love how this looks. Like this uh I was super happy just have a shattered glass sound wave and I and I got three this year. I, I literally got three and it was pretty great. So uh so yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the list. Uh, if you only cared about the list, you can stop here because now I'm going to talk a little bit about the channel and just kind of uh, typical YouTuber thanks, guys. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we uh, we did a lot this year. There was actually a t there was actually a lot more growing than I thought there was. There was like a period where it was like every couple like it was like every month I'd get a good like little handful of subs new subscribers, and I actually thought that I was going to reach a thousand this year, which we're really close. So probably like 2021, we're going to get to a thousand lads. We're going to do it. <laughs> and this is also the year where the custom reviews really took off. Like, I believe I started them late 2019. And this is the year where it just kind of became the channel staple as we do custom reviews. That's what we do now. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining. Like, I enjoy it. Like, it adds a lot more. Like, there's really no one on YouTube that does, like, custom stuff all the time. For at least Transformers anyways. There's a ton for, like, Gunplot and whatnot. Which, they're still great. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's just, uh... It's pretty fun being able to just show off my work in videos. Even like I, even like the Facebook group that I'm that even my Facebook page that I have that I'll show off stuff in. 
or even um, actually, I, I haven't really announced it that much, but I, I do have an Instagram. I, I post photo edits there every now and then. If you want to find it, it's uh, it's 14th frames. If I remember, I'll put it in the description, but don't expect you to remember. I probably will forget. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just uh, thanks guys for enjoying the custom reviews and sticking out, sticking around. It's uh, it's pretty fun. So uh, with all that said. That's pretty much it for this video, and it for the last video I'm speaking in in 2020, this really weird year, which of course tomorrow we're going to have the collection update, that's still coming up for sure. And uh, yeah, anyways, that is pretty much all I have to say, so please be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe, you can also come join my Facebook and Tumblr pages, linked in the description below, and you can come join the Infinison Discord server, also linked in the description below, and this is the 14th Prime, signing out.